Hello everybody and welcome to the day I became a god episode 9 anime review. So it's fair to say that some stuff happened this week. Yeah, I think that's that's a fair assessment, I think, is coming out of this. So we learn a bit more about Hacker Boy, including I learned his name. I think it was Hiroto. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check because I am I, his name was Hiroto, yes, yeah, see I'm prepared. I learned his name only nine weeks in. Pretty pretty good average right there. Other interesting stuff happened too. Uh, which we will get to, I don't want to go through it oh, all. Some weird mind trippy stuff happened too, don't know what the hell that bit in the ocean was. Uh, I mean, I get it, it's a metaphor, but then there was a giant whale, and it's just like, why was he fighting the whale, you know? Uh, kind of weird, fine, whatever, I'm okay with it. It's an uh, artist's interpretation, we'll call it. Uh, that's a good way to put it. But anyway, let's crack on with the episode, see how everything went down, and do this thing. We open up with the gang still, you know, working on the movie as they do. Hacker Boy, Hiroto as I said his name, he has found them, he's on the bridge with his bodyguard dude and they are, they're watching. Turns out Dr. Kurogi's research they reckon was to save her because they looked into her, she found out about her, her uh, disease, I forget exactly what it was because I am bad at remembering things it turns out. Um, and yeah, but he thinks Yota's actions are the odd ones because, you know, he... He won the Mahjong tournament, he saved the restaurant, he's like, that's kind of weird. Think maybe Hina has something to do with it. He goes home to do more analysis. His analysis reveals a load of charts that I don't quite understand. They were like linking up at some point, so I guess it was sort of implying that... I guess Hina, you know, not is influencing Yota, or Yota's influencing Hina maybe. I don't really know, I didn't understand the charts because I am not a techno babical man. Um, also, apparently, though, this technology, whatever it is, might collapse the world. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not good. Something about information supremacy, and it would turn you into an all-knowing god. Which, obviously, he, you know, calls herself a god. It's a funny uh, callback, but in a more serious way. It's like, it's a callback, but it's also like, no, this is a serious deal. We probably need to do something about that. Then we see a bit of Hiroto's backstory. So when he was young, he was still very good at hacking. It's like, I guess, an innate talent he has. Uh, he was hacking into banks for his parents. I think what was going on is his parents needed to get money for someone, some like mob boss or something. So they'd be using Hiroto to hack into the banks and then they'd send the money to the mob boss and then it'd be like, yes, thank you, very good. Um, when he realized, Hiroto, that, hey, we're doing bad things. He wanted to stop, but they beat him up because they're like, damn it, we're, you, you belong to us. You do as we say, girl, because we, we're bad guys. Um, yeah, wakes up from his dream. He's like, crap, bad dream. Don't want to have that. Reports his conclusion. Basically, there's a chip-sized quantum computer, I guess, in uh, Hina's brain, I think is what it comes down to. He really wants to analyze it. CEO says, go find it, basically. At this point, they don't know it's inside her head, I guess. Uh, they think maybe she's just getting information from it somewhere, but uh, but yeah, he's annoyed because they're wasting his talent because he's like, I want to analyze it because I'm really really good. At you you stupid grown-ups who I'm smarter than you and you beat me up when I because I'm smarter than you because you can't beat me you know mentally, and it's like okay, he's been through some stuff. I think it's I think it's fair to say the CEO lady is all like, hey, we we want to save you. We want you to be on the path of good. I don't know if I believe you. CEO lady, considering what happens a bit later. I don't think you care about the path of good at all. But, uh, you know, I think, I think Hiroto is going to be on the path of good, if you get what I'm saying. I'll explain it all in greater detail a bit later on. The bodyguard dude tells Hiroto, hey, it's just how the CEO shows affection. Tough love, kind of, maybe, who knows. Uh, he uses the hacking mode where he, you know, goes into his eyes and he's got the, the hologram keyboard things go on to find the computer. He literally dives into the sea. This is where things get weird. My guess is like that's like the sea of information, so to speak. So that's where all the information is. He meets a dolphin, which he sends back up to the surface. I don't know what the dolphin uh, <laughs> represents. It's just the dolphin. And I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. He goes deeper and he sees another fish, which is the fish that he needs. It's a little goldfish. There's a giant whale defense he's got to fight. I think it was a whale. Uh, and then, yeah. He, he attempts to get through the whale, but he can't. We see more, uh, you know, of his uh, backstory. He says he's got no one left. His parents got killed, probably because he wouldn't hack or the mob just got tired of them and killed them, you know. 
And then he shouted that they deserved it though. They were like stupid, stupid people putting me down. You know, they deserve, they deserve to be killed and everything. And then the CEO, I guess, took him in because he's a good guy, really. Uh, this is all he can do to prove his worth is his hacking ability, so to speak. Ended up not being able to defeat the whale, but before he got pushed back, he managed to touch the goldfish, which I guess transferred its knowledge to him, which begs the question, if he didn't need to defeat the whale, which was protecting it, why was the whale there? You know, whale seemed kind of unnecessary if he could reach it anyway. Uh, how did he reach it anyway? I guess he was just, he bypassed, not bypassed, it, he just went around it maybe? I have no idea. I'm not a hacker, so to speak. Not that this is any accurate... Uh, depiction of hacking, I think it's fair to say. I'm assuming hackers don't jump into the sea and fight a whale. Could be wrong though. That is, you know, could be wrong. Hina, when he touches the, the goldfish and gets the information, Hina senses the rain and probably sensed the fact that someone had accessed the, uh, you know, the goldfish, I guess. Because I guess she's also connected to the goldfish. Is that, does that make sense? I think that makes sense. That's what I'm choosing to believe. So the chip is in Hina's brain, as I said earlier, but this is where they figured out. It's so she can live properly, it has to be in her brain and everything, though. Hiroto is not pleased with the plan that's going to go ahead. They want to remove the chip from Hina's brain, therefore basically killing her, basically. And Hiroto's like, hey, let's not do that. Are you serious? That's not a good thing to do and everything. They throw him out of the room because he got all hot-headed, because... I guess his thinking is, like, he was born with his super hacking ability, she was born with her disease. They're both things that they couldn't do anything about but they gotta do what they can with it so I guess he sort of feels some sort of kinship with her is my guess and that's why he doesn't want to he doesn't want her to you know be killed essentially uh and everything and he's like okay it's my fault I got the info so what I've got to do is I gotta warn her what's coming basically and that he does he I guess connects to her again through the through the goldfish I I guess so Hina Upon getting, I guess, the information from Hiroto, realizes that, hey, the world isn't ending, it's my world that's ending. Which is what I sort of said it would be. So, I guess what it is, is because it's such a supercomputer, it gives her super prediction ability. She's not seeing the future, she's just making really, you know, based on all this information, I guess, she's making really accurate predictions. It's what I would assume is, is happening. I could be wrong, though, that's just sort of how I see it. Hiroto told her they're coming through the chip and everything and what's going on. And she's, I guess she figured out, uh, oh, okay, the world ending isn't the world ending, it's just the, using the prediction, I predicted this is when I would get got, I guess, and they would remove the chip. And that's when, you know, her world would end because she'd die, or, you know, be immobile, basically. Uh, she says farewell to all the people, and Yota's like, stop that, and as that's going on, we have all these governments approving, removing the chip from her because the world isn't ready for that. And it's like, just don't tell anyone. Just... Just don't let anyone know, you know. It, it was fine before. Before, black suits show up to take Hina, and they're like, "We're gonna, we're gonna take you now." And all the gang, the gang are basically all like, "Yota, grab Hina and leg it, because we will hold them off." And it's pretty funny. They've got all their props, like, like for the movie, and they're using them as actual weapons. I'm like, "There's no way those dudes in black suits don't have guns, right?" Like, realistically, they would probably all be shot for, you know, obstructing authority. But hey, we can't have that. That would bring a real downer on the uh, on the on the show. The two of them, Yota and Hina, run through the rain. Through the rain, easy for me to say. Uh, and she doesn't quite get why he's trying to save her and everything. Doesn't get why he wants to protect her. And then he he basically tells her, "He's like, you made my summer fun, and I, I I want I want you to be with me forever." And then he does it. He does the oh, I love you, Hina. And it's like I don't know if he means like romantically or like familiarly, familiarly, like a family. But it's probably a bit of both. Again, no idea what Hina's age is, because I couldn't find any information on it. So maybe she's just small. Or maybe she's like seven. Who knows? I certainly do not. Obviously, she's not actually seven, because the timeline. Anyway, uh, then he, he saves it a little bit. He's like, we all love you. And it's like, ah, oh, Yota, damn it, you ruined it for her. Uh, she says, though, thanks, I appreciate that, but there is no safe place on Earth for me right now, because, you know... I got the brain power, I know I'm pretty much done. And he swears, he swears, he's like, I'm gonna find somewhere, I'll take you somewhere. And she's like, you know what, that's great, I feel, that that makes me happy. Feelings will remain, even though this summer passes. So she's basically already given up, because she can tell, because of her supercomputing or whatever, they don't really have a chance of getting away here. Uh, the suits show up and take her away. And then she's like, I love thee too. And she doesn't drop her accent. And then Yota's like, no. And he cries a bit. As as you would expect. And that's where we end the episode. We've got what, three episodes left. And 
I'm not going to say it just got going, but obviously, this is the meat. All the rev plots is started now. They're going to have to save Hina from the government somehow. How are these teenagers and, you know, young adults going to fight the government to save their lolly friend is basically what's going on. Uh, no, I really enjoyed this episode. I actually, I didn't realize they'd got me, but when Yota was like, I love you, I was like, yes. And I was like, oh, I've been got. They got me invested. I don't even know how it happened. Because, you know, I've been fairly critical, I think, of this show throughout. Um, because it was kind of slow in the beginning. But hey, if it ends well, it'll all be worth it. That's what my thinking is. Um, anyway, though, yeah, it was uh, what I think is going to happen. I think is Hina is going to get rescued. Not rescued, but she's going to be bailed out by Hiroto. Because presumably she'll go to the same place he's at. The big building. And then he'll bust her out and then... They'll reunite with Yota and stuff. My guess is they're going to finish the movie and then maybe she might die anyway. Like, that's... I don't... I can't tell if we're going to have a super happy ending or if it's going to be, like, a, a bit of sweet one where it's like, yeah, you finished the movie and everything, but uh, but you couldn't save... You couldn't save Hina. There's nothing you could do. Who knows? I certainly do not. But what was my favourite part of this week's episode? I've already probably mentioned it, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll have a look. So my favorite part was not the weird sea diving bit because that was weird, right? That was like the, the only part where I was like, okay, this is a little bit odd, but I, I guess it's a good way of showing it. No, my favorite part is obviously the bit at the end where I realized they'd got me, where Yota was like, I love you. And then there was more love yous and it was like, ah, and it was like, okay, well, things are going to go bad before they get better. My guess is next week we're going to have like mopey Yota where he's going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a sad, I don't know what to do, you know? Uh, maybe all the others are like that too. Maybe Hiroto will be like, here's where she is, come and get her. Because, you know, I can only do so much by myself. Uh, maybe, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly. Maybe there's some more stuff the parents haven't told him and they'll be the ones to spring him into action. I think we're going to have Sulky Yota, Mopi Yota, not knowing what he's going to do next week. But someone will be like, let's, you know, kick this thing into gear. And then the gang will reconvene and they'll go and raid the government building. Uh, which will hopefully, you know, hopefully they don't get shot at because, because that's what I would do if I was the government. And that was intruders. But uh, hey, maybe they've got a plan. Who can say? Anyway, though, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff for more reviews. That would help me out a lot. I will see you next week for another episode of this. Take care and bye, guys.